are you here you're part of a program you're part of a coaching program and you believe all cyber security mentors all cyber security trainers all cyber security instructors are scam now i'm going to give you three things that a cyber security instructor would give to you or must be able to give to you for you to know that this person is indeed a true cyber security instructor and not a scam or a lie i call them s c m m is very very important is the most important if you have s and you have t and you don't have m you have nothing so on sunday after service one of my very good friend came to meet me on sunday i was about leaving the service so i stepped out of the church and this guy woke up you know he walked up to me and he said tolu i guess i may have been scammed and i felt surprised i asked him what happened why did you say you've been scammed what happened and he told me he said i joined this guy's program thinking that he's going to help me thinking that he's going to put me through and help me join or become an IT professional and I said what happened then he narrated what happened to me and then he asked me what do you think I should do with this and this and this and I said well I don't think the guy scammed you what really happened was that you did not manage your expectation and number two you did not go there with your mind fully prepared to get something out of it now are you here you're part of a program you're part of a coaching program and you believe all cyber security mentors all cyber security trainers all cyber security instructors are scam that is untrue do we have some people that are scamming of course yes do we have some people that do not even know what they're talking about or don't know what they're doing of course yes but are there people that are seeing the truth that are teaching the truth and that are actually helping people land multiple jobs or get into cyber security in no time of course yes there are a lot of them and i can proudly say that i am one of them now these are three things that you must watch out for i'm going to give you three things that you must watch out for in a mentor in this cyber security industry you know right now everybody wants to get into cyber security everybody want to get into it and cyber security is the new bride because it pays it has job security and it keeps growing there are millions of jobs right now as a matter of fact as i speak to you right now in the united states there are over 1.1 million cyber security jobs that are on field so simply put there is job everywhere that they're like there are cyber security jobs and what that means is that you're going to have a lot of people claiming to help or to know cyber security now i'm going to give you three things that a cyber security instructor would give to you or must be able to give to you for you to know that this person is indeed a true cyber security instructor and not a scam or a lie and i learned these three things from myron godin i heard it from him first and i discovered that this is part of the things that i do i'm going to give you three things i call them s t m m is very very important is the most important if you have s and you have t and you don't have m you have nothing s t m and i'm going to be sharing them with you so if you want to go into cyber security or you want to go into any form of it at all you need to look at does this mentor has these three things can he give me these three things number one is skill sets that is the s and let me quickly read here on my ipad what is skill set skill set refers to the range of skills and abilities that an individual possesses this can be hard skills such as specific technical abilities language proficiency or the ability to use certain software as well as soft skills like communication problem solving and teamwork your skill set is what bring you to the table in terms of what you can do and how well you can do it developing a comprehensive skill set is crucial for career advancement now you can see skill set is what can you do how can you do it what are the frameworks for instance in cyber security there are eight domains right now if you want to be a pen tester if you want to be an ethical hacker like you can either call them a pen tester or ethical hacker if you want to be one of those you know that there's a skill set that you must possess you must know networking you must know how to write some scripts correct 
and if you want to be a security engineer you must also know how to write some scripts you must know um, some basic principle of security engineering and security principles these are skills that you must have and the one that i teach is grc governance risk and compliance you know that if you are going to be a successful grc professional the skills that you must know that you must have you must understand frameworks you must understand regulatory compliance these are things that you must have as part of your skill set for you to be able to succeed as a cyber security professional especially in grc so if you have a cyber security mentor that cannot successfully give you these skills there is no way you're going to succeed and before i go to the second set you know i told you i have s t and m before i go to the second one it is important for me to let you know that if you're going to join a mentor to teach you or to help you get into it it is important that you don't expect that mentor to do everything for you let me tell you why i said so this my friend also told me that I told this mentor to allow me shadow him and I told him nobody will do that for you you know why because it is against the policy of his job I cannot allow you shadow me look at what I do for my job when you are not an employee of my company it's it's practically unethical you will not do that so if any mentor allows you to shadow them while they do the work they are absolutely doing something that is unethical what they can give you is something different that i'm going to talk about on the second one okay so there are things that you expect as a matter of fact some of us when we pay mentors to help us get into a certain profession we expect them to do everything for us now let me ask you when you go to harvard or when you go to yale i do tell everyone that cares to listen my mentorship and my academy my school is mentored or is factored towards Harvard University the same way they do their curriculum the same way they do their resume like everything the alumni is the same way we do ours at Excel Mind Cyber now if you go to Harvard are you going to tell them that you want to mentor your professor or you want to shadow your professor to see what your professor is doing it doesn't work that way when you go to a mentorship program do not expect that mentor to do everything for you as a matter of fact some of you would even want the mentor to come to your house and help you turn on your laptop because you have paid this mentor it doesn't work that way you have a part to play now i talked about the skill set that a mentor must give to you you must also be ready and willing to acquire the skills that is being given to you now let's go to number two number two is two set i said number one your mentor must be able to give you skill set your mentor must also be able to give you two sets let me read here what is the meaning of two sets two sets consist of the tools technologies methodologies and resources that an individual or organization employs to achieve their goals in professional context this might include software tools framework systems or physical tools necessary for specific task the tool set enhances productivity facilitate new capabilities and supports the skill set for providing the means to apply skills effectively in various situations did you hear that very well tool set would only help you to enhance the skill set that you already have now let's break it down into cyber security in cyber security for instance like i told you you know right now we have about eight domains right so let's let's take a look at SOC analyst if you want to be a SOC analyst those who look at companies infrastructure and their data and look at what is going on right you want to have understanding of sumo logic sumo logic is a tool that they use some other companies use splunk right some other companies use alien vault and if you want to look at intrusion detection system some other companies use tools like even splunk as well some use like pfsense correct and if you also want to look at firewall 
some other companies use checkpoint some other companies use palo alto now if you want to come to grc where i teach people companies they use service now some other company use rsa archer some other company use kcm there are several tools that companies use so your mentor must be able to give you a tool set that you will need to do your job remember we mentioned skill set and number two is what tool sets so after giving you the skills that you need to be able to do the job they must also teach you the tools now if you are able to learn only one tool like i tell people that care to listen every time it's a function of principle so what that means is if you know one tool you can basically use that knowledge to understand other tools because they are simply principles if you understand for instance if you are in grc and you understand how to use service now you might be able to understand how to use rsa with little to no supervision at all okay so your mentor must be able to give you skill set and tool set and you this is where your own duty comes in you must be available to learn the tool that they've given and provided to you now let's look at the final one which is very very important and this is where most people miss it so if you have the skill set and you have the tool set and you don't have this last one trust me you don't have anything the last one is mindset your mentor must be able to give you skill set tool set and mindset now let me read for you what does mindset simply means mindset refers to the set of attitudes beliefs and cognitive orientations that an individual holds it influences how a person perceives challenges opportunities and their approach to learning and development a growth mindset so if your mentor cannot help you on how to look at every challenge on how to look at task when your manager gives you a task if your mentor cannot help you on how to look at new things new technologies how to grow the mindset that has a positive attitude to everything that comes in contact with you on the journey of this it of cyber security trust me you don't have a mentor okay so your mentor must be someone that can give you the proper skill set the right tool set and the right mindset and the right mindset consists as we're looking at it here the right attitude to face challenges number two to be able to recognize opportunities in everything some of you you have the skill set you have the tool set but you don't have the right mindset and that is why you have gone for one interview you've gone for second interview and then you're tired you're, you you said you're no longer interested you know why because you don't have the right mindset if you have the right mindset you will know you need to persevere because if you know that every interview is a learning opportunity for you if you go for an interview one of the mindset that i teach my student is if you go for an interview you don't lose either you learn or you get a job all right if you go for an interview and they don't give you the job you've not lost anything you've only learned how to talk and how not to talk and you've gotten more experience so your mentor must be able to give you the right mindset about your attitude and the opportunities and then having a growth mindset and also the ability to believe in yourself these are the mindset that you need to have and i believe that you've been able to get one or two from the things that i've said you know all along so if you're going to any mentorship program and your mentor has been able to give you the right skill set the right tool set and the right mindset the rest lies on you to run with it and gain mastery and then begin to apply and get your multiple job and succeed in your career and if you would also like to be in cyber security i run a challenge for five days where we take you from where you don't know nothing at all to how you can get into cyber security in 90 days even without any it degree or experience and this program runs for five days 
where I'll be teaching you every day, Monday to Friday. It runs for five days, only five days in a month. And if you are interested, you can check the link below and then you can book your spot. It's running out. We'll give you the skill sets, the tool sets, and the mindset that you need to succeed and get into cyber security within the next 90 days. Hope this has been very good for you. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.